We are now arriving at London. Hello, you there? Real talk, you got me going crazy. Hello, you there? Are you out somewhere with your baby? Hello, you there? Real talk, you got me going crazy. Hello, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Ring, ring. Officially made it in London. Just got into my hotel room. It's not bad. I mean, it's for one night, but not bad. Got a room with a view. I mean, a road view, but London. What can you say? <sighs> Literally so tired because my train was delayed because there was an incident on the track and then it got in late to York. So I got in about an hour and a half, I think, after I should have. So <sighs> I just want a nap at this point. I'm probably going to have a little look-see around London because York's shops are just dire, quite frankly. I'm going to use this opportunity of being in London and just get things that I haven't been able to get when I'm in York. So it's about 5.30 in the evening now. I pretty much have the night to myself. I start work at 10 in the morning tomorrow at Slaughter and May, but literally the building for Slaughter and May is like a stone's throw in that direction. It's like a street away, which is why I chose this hotel, let's be honest. So yeah, I have the night to myself. Pretty much just going to probably hit up the gym here. Um, get a takeaway, the huge, really. So before I hit up round London, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour. Always, I feel like every hotel I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna give you a tour, MTV crib style. Is there any other way? I don't think so. So, mirror, hello, full length as well. Oh, check out the sins on the fashion game. Oh, and then double bed, not that I'm gonna be needing it, let's be quite honest. Little desk, yeah, like I'm gonna be doing work. <laughs> it's pretty big, actually. Wow, you can really tell the, uh, I mean, it's nice in the actual room and the bathroom's like a vial, but whatever. Whatever, it is only for one night. Yeah, this is quite big, actually, for London. Like, normally things like a cardboard box. Cannot complain. Ta-da, that be it. So I just got back from gallivanting around Oxford Street. God, I look a bit rough. That's what you get for getting up at six in the morning. But the perks of staying in a hotel, God, I'm, I miss stuff like this. Oh, pizza, shocker there. And then ice cream. Honestly, ready, so ready to sit and devour that whilst watching Netflix. I'm like, so excited. It's kind of sad. Literally a glimpse into my happy place. Pizza. Really trashy TV. Oh, love. The next day. Nah. Oh, so I'm ready now. About to leave to go to Slaughter and May. I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of my outfit. Basically, oh, there's my alarm to say that I should be ready. I'm not gonna try and film like everything because I actually want to experience this day rather than just like vlog it and I don't really know what I'm actually gonna be able to film but I'm gonna try and do my best so if it's a bit you know sporadic then that'd be why. But yeah quick overview of the outfit so basically black blouse it's kind of got this detail on the collar and then sort of grey tight trousers and then I've got brogues on because you know comfort over fashion. Swag. It looks quite a nice day today as well in London, like, doesn't even look half bad. But yeah, I've got to go, I've got to go check out. I'm back in York now. I got back really late last night and I was a bit incoherent so that's why I wanted to save this and do this today when I'm a bit more fresh. 
As I expected, I couldn't really film that much at Slaughter in May, so I thought I would just sit down and just go through what happened, give you the lowdown really, and just give the footage that you've just seen a bit more context. The day started at 9.30 in the morning and for the first half an hour it was sort of a little networking opportunity for those of us on the scheme and there was about 50 of us so it was a good opportunity for us to all meet each other and as we're all from different universities and some people weren't even studying law there it was just good to sort of meet new people and sort of see why they wanted to join and go on the scheme. So then there was an hour's talk from one of the partners, David Johnson, and his talk was basically outlining what Slaughter may do and what it's like to work there and the potential careers that are available within that firm. And that was actually really interesting just to hear about how Slaughter may fit into like the general scheme of city law firms, what they've been achieving and what it would actually be like to work there. So the next portion of the day was a two hour section that was dedicated to completing trainee solicitor tasks. So if you were to be completing your training contract with the firm, the tasks that you do then are sort of the tasks that we got to do. So they gave us a sheet of about seven or eight tasks and they put us into groups and then we had the two hours to complete the tasks. Now for me, I found that portion of the day, it was the most insightful because it made me realise that I don't really think that's for me, but it was also, for me, I found it really mundane. So, for example, one of the tasks on the list was, if you need to find a journal article by this person in this area of law, you know, how would you go about it? And within my law degree, I would do that on a day-to-day -day basis. So it was just really basic for me. And I just feel like I want to operate at a higher level than things like that. So if I were to be doing a training contract, doing things like that for two years. Now, I do like appreciate you would do a lot more tasks than something that basic. But the general things that were spoken about that trainees do and what associates do, it just wasn't for me. After that we had lunch and throughout lunch we had sort of a CV workshop going on which was really helpful and I think it's really good of Sorcerer made to put something on like that which just really gives us that extra push and help for applying for big city law firms and what they look for. So then after lunch we had another talk by one of the partners, Paul Dixon, and his talk was about corporate and financing, what those two areas of law entail and within the firm what type of things you could be doing. That was really interesting and for me it confirmed that if I were to go into sort of that line of work, M&A is definitely something that I'd want to do, mergers and acquisitions. So then after that talk we had a final session from David on interviewing. It was really interesting to just have confirmed to me all the things that I'd actually been taught previously throughout my degree. I'm lucky enough at York that we have like a designated guy, Chris, who basically helps you with all things employability and there's been a lot of talks before that have been focused like from law firms focused on interviewing, CVs, things like that. So it was good to have David basically back up everything that I'd been previously told. So it just confirms to me like this is what to do and this is how to get a job. Helpful for the future. And then the final portion of the day was drinks in what they call the conservatory and it's basically just a glass room in the law firm. So that was quite good to have a final chance to just talk to everybody and talk to all like the trainees that were there and also a few partners came down so it's just interesting to basically grill them with any questions that you had and also meet other people that are doing law at other universities. Now overall I thought the day was really good and it's something that I'm very glad that I did and it has been really insightful which you know plan of an insight day. But I think it also did confirm for me that I don't think being a solicitor is right. I mean, who knows, I'm still in my first year. I might, you know, finish my degree and think, no, I want to be a solicitor. I have no clue at this point. I think every day I change sort of what direction I want to go in. The only thing that I'm actually confident of what I want to do is I want to do further education after my degree, which is madness for how I feel some days on my degree to think that I voluntarily want to do more studying. But, you know, that'd be me. Overall really good day. I would recommend, if any of you do law, I would recommend going on days like this if you're thinking about wanting to become a solicitor. And even if you don't, I think it's really good to just go on the day and it will confirm for you whether you do or do not want to do it. So for me, I am definitely have a lot more clarity about my future and what I want to do. So really, it was just a good experience overall. So that concludes this video. Thank you for listening, watching. It's been a bit sporadic within footage, but you know, thanks for watching. Till next Saturday. Bye.